Make sure you check out my recipe book, Real Food at Real Simple, your plant-based lifestyle guide for life's daily quest for the best. So if you're looking to lose weight or if you're you know, looking to clear your skin, this is an absolutely awesome beginner's introductory guide to living a plant-based lifestyle. Uh, check it out following the first link in the description box below. How's it going guys? Topic for today's video, how to have sex while on the NoFap. So this has got to be one of the most common questions that I get regarding NoFap is guys who are kind of interested in the idea of you know retaining your sperm and not masturbating and jerking off to porn all the time while also being in a sexual relationship. So just to kind of clarify, I promote NoFap, which to me is not watching any type of porn, not masturbating, and not orgasming as well. So like cutting out porn is good, cutting out masturbation, also very good. Taking it to like the next level, no orgasm at all. Now, a lot of people are gonna disagree with that, um, but what I would actually advise you to do is test it out in your life, see if it works. But I think taking, if you wanna like really take shit to the next level, taking out orgasm is really good. And that can be very difficult when you're in a sexual relationship because if you watch porn or how we've basically learned that sex should be or how we feel like we're biologically designed to have sex is to always have orgasm and that can actually lead to something called habituation over time. So habituation is basically the idea that at the start of a relationship there's this energy and there's this chemistry and then over time you become very disinterested in people in, in, your, in your relationship with that person. And a very real reason why that could happen is because you're having fertilization-driven sex all the time. So fertilization-driven sex is very, it can be very passionate. It can be very like, like, yeah, let's fucking do it, right? Very passionate in that kind of way. And what that can lead, so what that tends to happen is both of you are very, hot, so to speak, and it tends to lead to orgasm on either just the guy's part or on both of your parts as well. And what that tends to happen is in our mind for a guy is that <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of weird, but we want, we want to spread our, we want like biologically we're designed to spread our seed in order for our seed to survive. So we want to spread it amongst as many women as possible. Now, in today's society where monogamy is such a, uh, is probably a more logically way, a logical way to actually have a relationship with girl, it actually makes more sense, um, is if we're constantly having that fertilization-driven sex, it's, it's basically triggering in our mind that we've, we've, uh, we've placed our seed in this girl and now we want to move on to the next one. So that's basically what habituation is. Now, there's actually a way to kind of curtail this because... Cause like, like, cause like I just said, I just don't think that right now, like I don't want to be going and mingling with a kajillion other girls. Like I've got my girlfriend, I would love her to death and I want to just be with her. Like I really have no desire to go and start like spreading my seed amongst other women in the world. Like biologically, maybe back in the day, maybe that would make sense. But in, in today's society, I mean, I think it just makes sense to, to have more of a monogamous relationship. People are going to disagree. That's totally fine. You can do whatever you want. It's your life, right? This is just how I feel um, I want to live my life. So the book that I'm going to recommend is called Cupid's Poison Arrow. And this basically talks about everything that I'm talking about, but in much, much greater detail and a lot more science backing it as well. Um, because I haven't, I haven't read this book for probably over a year or so. So the ideas aren't totally fresh in my mind, but basically this book is actually written by a woman, which is probably shocking, is talking about having a bonding-based relationship. So the bonding-based relationship or bonding-based sex is not focused around an orgasm. It's focused around um, more kind of like, I guess more like kind of like subtle ways of touching, like massage, cuddle, kissing, all that kind of, like all that kind of stuff that really brings people together in a bonding way and she talks about so much different stuff and it's it's a long book to get through but there's also like exercises that you can do with your partner and i think it's really really 
I think is really important to look at because I've noticed in my past relationships that just over time, like I just kind of grew tired of the girls that I was with and it sounds kind of mean and whatever, but I think a lot of it had to, had to do because of just having this constant fertilization driven sex where it's always leading in an orgasm and then habituation kind of takes place over time. So for me and uh, for me and Ha Karapena, so this is something that we're definitely, we're going to try out. So you'll definitely hear about it on, on YouTube. We'll have to make some videos about it. But something, something that's really important is something that she does mention in the book that it's really good if you want to introduce this into a relationship, it's usually best to do it at the start before you've actually had sex. Now, that might not be your situation right now, but what I would recommend is that, is that buy the book for yourself, buy the physical book for yourself, read through it, understand it, and then don't try to convince your partner to do it, but hand her the book and be like, let's try this out. You know, this is, this is really cool. This is something that I want to try out. And see it as like an experiment. All of life is an experiment, right? I'm always experimenting in my life. So I want to experiment in this, in, in sex as well and see like, what is the best way? Like, you know, like, you know, what is the way that's going to create the most harmony in my relationships? So this is a, this is an interesting topic for sure. And it's, and it's something that I've kind of like pulled back on making a video about because I didn't really have like a good answer. Um, but I think that checking out Cupid's Poison Arrow will really kind of open your eyes. It also talks, it doesn't directly talk about NoFap in general, but it does kind of indirectly talk about that and basically the effects of orgasm on your brain. It's really, really, a really good book. It is a bit of a long read and it does kind of read, like it actually, it's, it's, it's a really good book. So definitely check it out. It's really, really worthwhile. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box below. Talk to you soon. Peace out.